Hi and welcome to this week's Produce Time. It's February 20th and I'm Patrick Fitzgerald. Happy Produce Day to everyone. Uh, I want to jump into the weather because there's a lot of things that have been going on. For the most part, we've been experiencing a great mild winter. Parts of the country will probably be able to start their season early or at least be ready for the production because of the great weather. Some few ex exceptions, however, strawberries and bananas. It's nothing to get scared about. Some competitors have put out an extreme warning and scaring some people into thinking that bananas may not be available at all. So to set the record straight, banana supplies have tightened up. They will be five to ten dollars higher and coloring may be an issue. Chiquita is the brand that we contract out and they do have supplies for us. So don't, go, don't get overly concerned, just stay ahead a couple days. Strawberries also have tightened up and they have gone up about four to five dollars, or about five to ten dollars a box. Uh, Florida has uh, set has some setbacks, so that's uh, put more demand on the California crop. But with those two exceptions, everything else has been great. Uh, I'm going to start off with some uh, some of the products. We've got butternut squash that has gone up slightly, also because of the uh, the new weather, uh, the new growing season. Uh, they're going to look a little bit funky. They're not full grown, so you're going to get some more of the slender uh, necks and stuff on there, but it's just for another couple of weeks because of the, uh, the new crop. I also have some acorn squash to show you. So these aren't your typical uh, larger size acorn squash. They're again a little on the smaller size and it's just due to the, uh, the new crop coming into the, uh, the Mexican area. Um, I brought out some corn that actually look fantastic, and this is actually the white variety that we uh, we brought in because it looked the best. But you're going to see that it's got full kernels on it, and uh, the price is actually about twenty-four dollars a box or so. But white color corn. Uh, looking. A couple other things that are coming to the end of the season are the grapes. These are the Mexican grapes. I'm sorry, these are the Chilean grapes. They're gonna be a little bit smaller. You're gonna start seeing more of the amber and the green. Uh, about four weeks or so, they should be uh, finished up. And sometime in uh, April or so, they're gonna be uh, coming out of Mexico. So you're gonna get uh, coming to the end of the season on the grapes. New parsley root is out from Texas. It's from Little Bear Farms, and uh, the season is uh, definitely on the way. They're great sizes. They come in a 12 to 24 count box, but now's the time to get them. Parsley root. Brought out some lines because they're looking absolutely fantastic, but they have gone up in price to anywhere around a uh, $29 to $30 price. So uh, just keep that in mind. The bulks, uh, limes, as well as the 10 pounders are definitely up for a good number one. I've got mangoes uh, that I brought out before, and I brought out these to show you just how great they are. This is out of Peru. The season is now, and again, they are uh, just absolutely wonderful. They look and taste delicious. Mangoes from Peru, nine to ten. Brought out these little cuties. These are the clementines. Uh, these are in season now. We actually got some great ones that have some great skin and uh, nice size to them. It's probably the uh, top of the... Um, a season for them and if you cut them you'll actually see just how great they are but clementines available in uh, the five pound box looking great here's a sample of our four by four tomatoes now i know last week we had some issues with the uh the coloring of the tomato on the inside these i went around the market and found uh, an organic 19 to 20 count uh, tomato it's a hot house grown uh it comes in this purple box and they cut marvelous and the flavor is, is exceptional so keep this in mind if you're looking for anything on a uh, tomato but this is the Hot House 19 uh, 20 count I thought I'd bring out a sample of our upland crust from Lakeville Farms it's a hydroponic um, farm which uh, grows both our mash as well as our upland crust this comes in about a two pound box as the summer gets in, you're gonna see more and more quantities from them, but this is an example of our upland crust. And of course it has the, the root on the um, 
bottom of the leaves so that it stays fresher and uh, you get a fresh cut on it. Upland cress. So last two things I just wanted to bring out again are the strawberries and bananas. Again these are the Driscoll strawberries 8-1 pounders. They're looking fantastic out of California. Market is going a little higher on them because of uh, what happened in Florida. And again, these are Chiquita bananas, 40 pounders or 10 pounders that uh, we have plenty of them and obviously we have ripe. So uh, that's your, uh, your update for the bananas and strawberries. And that is actually your update for February 20th. I'm Patrick Fitzgerald and thank you for watching.